What's good y'all, welcome back to another video and this is just gonna be my complex con hauls uh, It's gonna be a recap video too because that was my first time going so if you haven't seen the vlog I'm gonna show it right here, but I mean feel free to check it out I pretty much just like walk through how my day went booth to booth And that's actually gonna be the order in which I show the hauls that I come up And I'm gonna tell like little stories as I go along the way By the way, complex con, I loved it, beautiful experience it's really like a networking type of event. If you're not going to buy clothes or like meet people and just vibe out, then I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. But if that is you, definitely worth going. I'm blessed to go with like a couple friends who are like really creative. They really do that stuff. So yeah, first things first, you walk into the BBC booth and we're just eyeing it and I already see what I want. I want this human made uh, BBC chain shirt so these are the chains that like Nigo for real design you seen you probably seen that picture of Nigo wearing it uh we got the classic motif so we got the what's it called the running dog the ice cream and we got the bbc helmet if i had to pick a favorite i do like the running dog the most but yeah on a nice human made blank human made on the back and actually which i do like uh i own the white version which was also a complex con exclusive so yeah so this time they uh oh wait is this the right shirt? Give me a second, y'all. Okay, my fault. I lied. I thought I owned the shirt, but I don't. So I'm gonna show a picture of like what I thought I had. So they did actually make a white one, and I want to say it was released that complex one. So they re-released it. But here's the other one I have. Just ignore that coffee stain real quick. But yeah, so it has like the NERD um, symbols right here. Fly or die. So yeah, I got this version right here. It's 130. And uh, honestly, kind of expensive. That's definitely an American price human made. But I mean, I was there. It's like, exclusive. And then, so we're at the BBC. So we kind of make our way up. Just walk a little forward. And right there is the Undercover booth. And uh, if you guys seen what Undercover was releasing, they had the 85 denims that they brought back. Which are sold out, by the way. And they were 2500 So I mean, that, that was ridiculous. But honestly, I just wanted to see it in person. I just really wanted to see the craftsmanship. But it turns out they sold out day one. They still had all the varsity jackets, but I did have my eye on one thing, and that was this shirt right here. The undercover, wasted youth, that good undercover, that good wasted youth, and man, I love this shirt. I just, I love shirts that can just have graphics, and it really brings me just to like classic street wear, you know? So one thing I do like is, uh, we see right here, the anarchy symbol that both, uh, undercover and, uh, Verdi use. Um, I love how they use the undercover U. I love how the Y kind of looks like Yale, like college. If you guys know any other other references, let me know. I like the T, kind of looks like a space bar. And then right here, we got the I can't waste my time anymore. I feel that. Uh, wasted youth right here, you know. I love their Budweiser inspired logo. And then on the other sleeve is the U. And uh, yeah, but I'll be honest, this shirt was expensive. It was. I ended up paying like 216 for it and uh, I'm not sure if y'all saw the allegations it's not even allegations I mean there's pictures I'm gonna show it up front but pretty much undercover we're using Gildan for the blanks at complex con so I mean look at this right here so I mean I saw the tweet I was like oh shit and I felt the shirt so but I still bought it though because I mean I really like the graphic but uh, as soon as I tried it on I was like yeah this, this is fucking Gildan this this is Gildan he got my ass. He got my ass for 216. Really unfortunate. I wish this could have been better quality, but I mean, I'm not mad because like, I do like it, right? If you like something, I think you should buy it. Don't let the price stop you, unless it's like crazy, right? And uh, my whole thing is like, I mean, if I own this shirt, I, I wouldn't really want this graphic to be on like a, a long sleeve. I prefer just like on a t-shirt or like a, what's it called? Maybe a cutoff sleeve shirt too, so I could wear it to the gym. So I mean, the fact that I own this, I might as well just ask someone on Etsy to print it on another shirt. Cause I mean, this is Gildan, right? So yeah, but really cool shirt. I do like it. I already took some pictures in it. And at the same time, really cool story. So while we're at the booth, you know, I'm just shopping around, getting my footage, whatever, whatever. We see a posse of people pull up and sure enough, Verdi is right there in the cut. So I get to meet him. My friend Ayo takes his picture as seen in the vlog. And not only that, I get to meet Tenshin Nasukawa. And if you guys don't know who that is, he's this uh, kickboxer from Japan. He fought for Ryzen. You might know him mostly because he's the one that actually fought Mayweather. And that's even how I found out about him in the first place. And I remember staying up till 3 a.m. thinking like, yo, like, this guy's about to smoke Mayweather. 
and like yeah i was mad delusional because he got kind of rocked so it is what it is but i got to meet him really nice guy took we took a picture we flicked up had a really nice chain that was designed by verdi which i think is really cool that verdi he really does just like bring in all like japanese creators whatever field bring them in and gives him a spotlight he just friends with everybody real nice guy you know did the pose all that and uh shout out to tension I'm glad i got to meet him so yeah that was the undercover booth all right and then next thing i copped uh as we're just walking around there's another booth and it was the 777 booth which is the magazine that's being done by john ross in the lock shorts so i did end up buying the birdie edition of the ma magazine but i think this is the second edition and uh, honestly i do collect a couple magazines it's usually just like nigo tyler pharrell and uh, i figured i have them like in my future household whatever but honestly really really cool magazine i just like i mean to be honest like uh john ross like it's crazy because i remember just seeing him and on instagram was like yo who's this little white boy hanging out with Ian Connor and all these Supreme kids and sure enough he's out here doing cool shit so I can totally respect that really cool booth too and I really like how this one's just kind of like Japanese dedicated so there's a lot of inspo that I got from this so yeah and uh, it also did come with a poster featuring Birdie and Vic so yeah I think the magazine was like 37 so yeah alright next thing I caught nothing crazy uh, there's this brand called Black Eye Patch that I've heard about from Verdi, I've seen them do the collabs, I always thought just the name was cool, I liked the, the sticker, which it did give me one, that's how, what it really kind of made me want to buy from them, and honestly, I think that's the cool part about ComplexCon, you might not hear of a brand, but just like talking with their people, finding out about them, just respecting the hustle and what they do for the culture, um, and you just might cop something, so I did end up getting these black iPod, black eye patch socks, so it's the care label, so I'm pretty sure that says care label in Japanese, I hope it does, um, yeah, they were kind of expensive, but like really cool booth. Like they had like the car in the front, just black eye patch going all around. So you know what? I had to support them. All right, and then the next thing I bought was this little Tokyo table tennis hat, and they had a really cool booth there. We can actually get to play ping pong. And I'll be honest, out of all the sports that are kind of like that, I am trash at ping pong. I'm real nice at badminton. I'm ready for that smoke tennis. Not really, even though I did classes. But yeah, really cool hat in collaboration with like Poke Studios. And uh, I heard about them because they did like the Heaven Mark Jacobs club with those cool beanies. So a really nice touch they had on the side. And uh, really, I really like the way the blanks they use like this stitching. And yeah, it just looks like some shit you'd see in Japan. And I know uh, they do play table tennis in Little Tokyo in LA. And I'd love to pull up. They seem like some cool people. Seem like some really drippy people too. And uh, I don't look good in these hats. I'd probably wear it like Tip. I'd wear it like Pharrell, how he did. You know what I'm saying? But uh... Yeah, so I end up, I'm just probably gonna give this hat to my mom, so yeah, cool people, I mean, I wish I was nice at table tennis, it did give me a little power up while I was playing, I can't lie, here it is on um, head, so yeah, it was like, how much I paid for this, yeah, it was like 40 bucks, but honestly, like, it is what it is, cool hat though, it looks special, I feel like it's an eye catcher. Alright y'all, next thing I copped, um, as soon as I saw Birdie post it, like, I was like, I knew I needed it, and like, I didn't care. Um, what people said I was like yeah I'm gonna buy it so <laughs> I ended up buying this right here this PSG scarf per purse you feel me we got the Vic on this side and I'll be honest y'all I do not I do not watch soccer I have been tapping in a little bit with uh, the World Cup and stuff like that cuz who isn't but yeah I don't watch soccer at all I know Messi played for this team uh, in the past or whenever but I mean, it's just a colorway and the fact that it has like, you know, the signature Verdi font going on. And it was only $25 plus tax. So like, man, it was an easy purchase. And uh, yeah, so I really like it. But I thought this said German and then my friend called me out. That's just how much I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But soccer, cool sport, cool scarf, really well done. And yeah. And then the last item I copped was from this brand called Tokyo Vitamin and they did a collab with this brand called Hidden Characters who I also found out about through that collab. See, I love the way things work like that, you know? So they're actually from Chicago. So I ended up buying these carpenter pants and I think I only have one pair of carpenter pants but what I do like about these is like, look, they got like this little star pattern going on. It's different, you feel me? And in the front, they also have just like these, uh, just string so you can tighten the pants if you want to so with that s rank so yeah i don't even know these are my size so i kind of just like having the what's it called the laces just drip down 
But here it is, this nice brownish colorway. And uh, this brand, Hidden Characters, does actually do it, but the touch that they have with this collab, you see the Tokyo Vitamin star right here, nice at the carpenter. We have this etched heart on each pocket. And uh, yeah, I bought these for 150. Um, funny story, so while I was at the booth and I was paying for these pants, my card got declined. So like, you know, I gave her my card and the lady's like, oh, uh, it's not working right now. I think your card got declined. And I was just like, first of all, lower your voice. But nah, I mean, I, <laughs> it was cool, but I was like, oh shit. So I went to check my phone. Sure enough, I got a text from Bank of America. Sent them the code, we's good, we got the pants right here. So yeah, um, if you guys ever have a story of your car getting declined, feel free to let it be known in the comment section below. I mean, this is a safe zone. I will not judge you at all. So I just want to hear these stories. I mean, it happens to us all, right? So yeah. And with that said, since it's only cop so-and-so for uh, Complex Con, I might as well show off like two recent cops that I got to. So, I mean... It's not an Alex Kaluna haul video unless I pick up some Stussy and I finally got a grail from them. So this is the Stussy Coastline shell jacket with the big Sir graphic on there. I actually just went there for the first time this year so it, it kind of spoke to me. And uh, when this piece first dropped, I kind of slept on it and then after that I, I kept seeing pictures of people in it. I was like, nah, I need that. But I didn't want to pay resale. But I was actually able to get this for like $230 which I think is a pretty fair price. So yeah, it's a size small. We got you know, looks like all the other shell jackets, you know, it's right here on the front. Um, really comfortable. Wind stopper material, you feel me? And uh, yeah, I just love how we got the ocean on one side, and then we just have like the green lens over here. And then that continues into the back side, just like this real nice split that goes on, gives it that good personality, and I love the way the waves look. So yeah, here it is on body. Um, yeah, I just, I just like these shell jackets. I feel like it's one of the really good like just stussy um how would i say shapes that they got just with all their windbreakers like i just like the way it looks on me it makes me feel it just makes me feel fly like for real okay and then last thing is just the shirt that i wore from my vlog it's gonna be this human made uh train tram shirt this is actually from hong kong is the collab that came out uh hbx they dropped the exclusive shirt. There's actually a white colorway that I want more that I think is a better color than this because I don't really wear like black shirts like that. But uh, I can never get my hands on it. But I saw these were still on the site. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cop it. And uh, I just love the references going on. So we have like the hearts uh, symbol right here. We got these trams that are referenced to Sex Pistols. You know, we got the uh, Storm Cowboy right there. We got the Gears for Futuristic Teenagers. I mean, I just love the detail. And it's on the human made blank. So yeah, totally worth that. And then this is cheaper than the share I paid. It was 90, but I had to pay like Hong Kong shipping. It got here hella fast though. So yeah, size XL too. But honestly, fits like a large, maybe a medium. But I love this shirt. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's the whole haul. Thank you for tuning in. Giveaway soon. Um, I'm dropping this video and I'm gonna drop one real quick right after where I talk about what I caught. Basically, I'm giving away some fuzzy dice and I have no clue how I'm doing this giveaway yet. It might, if you're a subscriber, I mean, you're already locked in. You know what I'm saying? Um, you should probably follow my Instagram though. Put that in the description. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna make it that serious to be honest. I just wanna give away some stuff because like, man, we going up. So, with that said, like, subscribe, comment, all that. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.